good luck my lovely so mystery no not mystery oyster 25 pearl oyster soft pop there i'm just going to do that again there we go You can see lots of pearls in and around the flesh there. Let's see if we can oh, get him open. We do have a runaway. And actually, I can see a pearl on this side. So let's squidge that one out. Just going to have a squidge here. Okay, so there's definitely no more on that side there. There's a little bit of flesh there, but there's no more on that side. And we do have a couple of runaways there. So if we hold these up and then let's have a squidge in here Bab? Yep. so if we have a squidge now half the flesh was on the other half of the shell so it's quite easy to have a squidge in here actually lots of pearls there so there's doesn't feel like there's any more in there let me just um, count these up for you so we've got three down the front four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four and twenty five so we do have the 25 there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry these up and then we're going to pop them in the sand for you. Darker pearls towards the top of the sand, lighter pearls towards the bottom of the sand. And um, would you like me to measure all of the pearls or would you are you happy for me to measure the largest and smallest pearls? What do you think? Thank you, Bab. Oh, bless you, Liz. Okay. I do apologise. Um, oh. So, if we put the darker ones towards the top, lighter ones towards the bottom, if you'd like me to measure them all, I'll do it at the end. Oh no, biggest and smallest is fine, that's perfect. So, oh, sorry, I just clicked on the wrong thing and it opened up something that should be closed. So, let's start by popping the darker pearls in here. Your first one is a very, very dark gunmetal grey. He's almost black there. He does actually look like he's got that imperfection. Let me just move it round. He does, you can see that slight imperfection on him there. So, um, of course, if you're not happy with the imperfection, let me know at the end and I can either swap it for a colour match or swap it for a different colour of your choice. Your next pearl, again, is a darker gunmetal grey, a little bit smaller than the first. And then we've got a black. So two gunmetal greys and a black. Your next darker one is a gorgeous, look at that, multi-tonal chocolate. He's got lighter chocolate, a middle chocolate, really, really dark, almost black kind of tones with the chocolate there. He is stunning, a multi-tonal chocolate. And then we have got a chocolate purple. So base chocolate with a purple, like a grape purple overtone. You then have got a uh, silver chocolate. So base silver with the chocolate overtone. And then you've got a silver chocolate again there. We've got a dark purple, a chocolatey purple, 
and then a grape purple, a cabri purple. You then have got a two-tonal lavender lavender. So you've got the lighter lavender tones. Then you go quite darker, brighter into that lavender tone and back into the lavender. So two-tonal lavender and lavender pearl. If we then move through into your TARDIS blue, so it's got quite a lighter TARDIS blue, and then a slightly two-tonal icy blue, but this one is moving more into like mint green tones. So I'm actually going to say that that is a mint green. So mint greens are sort of like a greeny blue tone. So mint green. You've then got a two-tonal apple green. So this is brighter and lighter apple green as we go around the pearl there. And especially next to that mint green, you can see the green and the blue coming through there. You then have got a darker sea green. Now part of him does have that gorgeous silver tone to him. So a darker silvery sea green. And then moving through to your gold now he is a two-tonal gold brighter and lighter areas there you then have got a yellow a lemon yellow a autumn peach a actually no not that one I've changed my mind a coral <laughs> A slightly brighter coral. You then have got a uh, watermelon. Again, slightly two-tonal watermelon. A burgundy red. A slightly darker burgundy red. And then ending with a cream. Liz, my lovely, what do you think to all of these? If you're happy with these colours, then they are, of course, yours. If you're not happy, I can swap some of them for colours of your choice. And if you'd like some time to think about it, you can take a screen.